Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee and this week I'm doing something that's genuinely arty. I say genuinely arty, I mean nail art is arty but like traditional arty. Adult colouring books have been a huge success these last few years and that's what these nails are like but instead of using really expensive alcohol inks I just use sharpie markers with an extra twist. Stay tuned to find out how. As always, I'm going to begin by cleansing my nails using 99% isopropyl alcohol and full links to all the products are in the description. Then I'm going in with my Unt Peel Off base coat and I'm applying a nice even layer to all of the nails. You don't have to use a peel off base coat but I like to because it means I can easily change my polish every few days without having to actually use loads of acetone to dry out my nails. Then using Uber Chic Plate 1401, now this is another one that I've had in my collection for ages, waiting for the right moment to use it. And before we do the stamping, using my Twinkle Tea Liquid Latex, I'm just applying that round my ring finger. And then I'm going to apply my white polish. Now you can do this either with gel or with nail polish, and I've linked to both of my favourite versions of the products in the description for you. We're going to apply our white to all of our nails. Always remember on that first coat to really take your time to get it absolutely perfect, really super neat. Because that first one is like your foundation, and then when you want to apply your second or third layers over the top, it is so quick. And I've just sped this up a little bit, but here we are going in with our second layer, and you can see how quick and easy it is because we've been so neat with that first layer. Using Twinkled Tea Vibin, which is their black stamping polish, I'm just applying it to the large image at the base of the plate. I love this image. It's so arty. And look how beautifully it stamps. It's so gorgeous. Now I'm applying it as a full nail image onto my ring finger. And you can see that most of the stamping that's gone over the nail has gone onto that liquid latex. So when that's dry, we can just peel it off with some tweezers satisfying. Any polish left on the skin you can use a clean up brush dipped in nail polish remover or acetone to remove the excess. Now we're moving on to the little or the pinky finger and on the little finger we're just going to apply a very small amount of image. I like the scrolling in that top corner. So because I'm using the crystal stamper you can see really easily where this is going onto the nail. It's just hard to try and capture it on camera to be honest with you. I love this image, how beautiful and perfect is that? This one is going on to the middle finger. And I picked this area because I really like the leaves and the flowers together. I thought it was really nice with different parts coming out. And I knew my different Sharpies would look fantastic with these images. Then we're going to do our index finger. And for this, I wanted to sort of graduate down with less image on each nail. So with this one, I really liked this sort of strange ferny effect at the top. I did also do my thumb but I haven't shown you that. So we're going to be using a glass tile, some isopropyl alcohol and some sharpie markers and all we're doing is going onto the glass tile or you can use a ceramic tile or a plate even and then dip your brush in isopropyl alcohol and it turns the sharpie marker into an alcohol ink. Then you quite simply just paint it straight on. This looks so good and because it's alcohol and not nail polish remover it shouldn't affect the black stamping polish. The less alcohol you use with it then the more intense or the more pigmented the colour will be and the more alcohol you use then the fainter or less intense the colour will be. Also you can build this up in layers and if you're not quite happy with something you've done you can go back in with more alcohol on your brush and soften the look up. Now I treated this brush with a lot of disrespect when I was doing this and I really shouldn't have done. There are ways that you should keep your brushes perfect. This, what I'm doing right now, is not one of them. And then I'm going in with another blue and this one's much fainter and more sort of smoky blue, almost like dusky colour. And what I'm doing to avoid having to keep using different colours I'm actually taking this colour and I'm applying it to whichever parts of the designs on whichever nails I want. 
So basically, when you get the colour, apply it to all of your nails at once so it saves you a bit of time. I love these swirls, they look sort of like a combination between sort of a Fibonacci spiral and a snail. This pink is one of my favourites, it's so pretty. I don't know the names of these Sharpies, but I will link to one of the kits that I bought that had lots of them in. Now what I'm doing here is I'm taking the very heavily pigmented Sharpie and alcohol and I'm applying it to the tips of the flowers. Now that's because what I'm going to do in a moment, once I've got it really pigmented, is put some more alcohol on my brush and then go back over and sort of draw down some of that pigment down those petals. And that's because it makes it look so pretty and it sort of makes it look like a watercolour image then. I'm just using whichever colours I fancy here so I decided to do one of the swirls in different tones of blue and another one in different tones of purple. Be mindful when you're doing this with your brush that you are using it in pure alcohol which can be a bit drying for it so the best thing to do is turn the brush in your ink and your alcohol to try and keep the nib of the brush together and then we can revitalise it later. Keep going with the colours and don't worry if you do go over any of the black lines because all you need to do is just get some pure alcohol on your brush and then you can just actually dilute it and rub it off. When you apply any of the colours, if you find that they go on too sort of wishy-washy almost, so they're not opaque enough, don't worry, you can just build it up in layers. And again here I added more pigment to the top of each part of the design and then just got some alcohol on my brush and just sort of graduated it through to give that three dimensional effect. And I've just sped this up for you because you've got an idea of what I'm doing now and how easy this is to do. I just love it! So many people have seen these nails when I've been out and about and just thought that the whole lot was hand painted, they couldn't understand how it was done. They are that clever, yet that simple when you look at them. I love that green. How gorgeous is that green? And you can see I'm literally just swapping between the nails here before I start to finish off on that little finger. And when it's all done and dry, and it dries in like about 10-15 seconds, go in with your top coat and lightly float it over the top. It shouldn't smear, but you don't want to risk it anyway. Remember to cap those ends, and if you really, really want to protect this, then I'd recommend doing two top coats. When you're happy and it's finished, apply your cuticle oil, and this is a homemade one that I've done myself because I've swapped onto this because I wanted more high quality ingredients in my cuticle oils. massage in and here are the finished nails these remind me of sort of i can't work out if it's alice in wonderland or it's the 60s summer of love which is well before my time but it doesn't really matter because they are so intricate they look like something out of a kid's storybook i love them let me know if you're going to give these a go imagine all the different things you can do with these sharpie inks Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was something really different and so effective but easy. It opens so many doorways when it comes to doing things with stamping polishes and stamping. If you've liked this video and you like what I do on this channel, then please hit that subscribe button and next to it is a teeny tiny little bell icon. If you click on that, it will notify you every time I upload. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give me a big thumbs up. If you like what I do on this channel and you want to support it, then head on over to natashalee.vip where I have a range of tiers and rewards and behind the scenes access if you come and support the channel and join with me. If that's not for you, don't worry. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you all very, very soon.